Hello everyone, Overquick here, playing Farming Simulator 2013. It's uh, been almost two weeks since I've had a new episode, I apologize for that. I've had a lot of real work, real life work issues going on. Looks like my, uh, my current day job is ending at the end of the year and I had to resume interview thing. It ate up about two weeks while I was in the middle of all that uncertainty and figuring out what was going to happen next year. Looks like I've got all of that sorted out and now I can relax and have some have some fun times farming again. So again, I, I apologize about that, but life just gets in the way sometimes. The, where we left off, uh, we finished, uh, we had a harvest finished and we had taken care of the little in-between things. We had the cows all sorted out, the sheep all sorted out, and now we've got one field continuing to be sown and this one here is completed but not really growing very fast very much so far. The very last thing we did in the last episode was we upgraded our tipper and I'm going now to go and grab the new one. Um, I guess now would be a good time to figure out if I want to sell the one we have now. <coughs> Oddly enough, I'd never really thought about it until just right this second. Um, Take a look here. Let's take a look at tippers. And this is what we've got here right now. And we could sell that for ten thousand. It'd be a tiny bit more once we take it down to the store to the shop. Ah, it doesn't seem it's not worth it. Okay, new plan. <laughs> We're turning back around, going back to the farm gonna just drop that off and pick up the new one. There's no real big point. There's all that we've got left to do on the new field. So that's going. Um, next big goal is to pick up a new field, field 17 right next to our farm. That's our next big goal and that takes 198,000 so we have a uh, we still need a hundred thousand to be able to pull that off. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Find a parking spot. Let's take it into the in here. Oh, it looks like we. Uh, hmm. I don't know what that is. It's always been there. I'd love to know what it is slash what it's supposed to be. But I don't know. It kind of looks gross. Maybe I don't want to know what it is. Okay, that's not perfect, but it's good enough. Good enough for farming work. And let's go pick up our new tipper. That'll be one less thing we have to do during the next harvest. Uh, right now I'm running at real time, but I'm going to definitely speed it up once we get all of our um, sowing done. So that while we're just growing, uh, I'll be able to speed that up. Definitely. Just um, no point in paying, uh, speeding up the time while we're paying for that worker to do the seeding for us. Okay, here's our new crampy 900. Uh, all you have to do is make it past this one last corner. There we go, successful this time. And pick it up. Uh, that was pretty well lined up. 
And it's all attached. Looks good from in here. Outside. I like that. Um, I have used this tipper before in another save game in another of my worlds. Um, like it, but <clears throat> being pulled behind this wagon, or I'm sorry, let me start over. <laughs> being pulled behind this tractor, safety first, it is really quite slow. You can see here that we're only going, I think we'll cap out somewhere around 15 miles an hour, and that's empty. It will, the speed will, should, might even be slower when we're full, so. It's good and bad. I need, I may looking, look at having a stronger tractor pull this. next time we get a chance to upgrade the tractor. I don't know. Once we get back to the farm, I'm going to take a look at tractors because I'm not even sure of exactly which one we should aim for or how much it costs. I'll have to take a look. Oh, the lights were on, but it's the middle of the afternoon. Okay, the other thing that we've got sort of in reserve right now is we have a little bit of grain left. Uh, let's see, it was... Barley? Yeah, it's barley. We've got almost 60,000 of barley in the storage. I'm waiting to see if we can get a great demand on that, but we have... Uh, we can always liquidate that if we have to. Um, let's flip through, because it's been a little while for me. I'm trying to remember where we left everything at. Uh, we only have ten cows. That's amazing. Okay, we gotta get that sorted out. Uh, we're producing milk. Uh, I just turned this game on. It's still showing zero productivity even though we've got mixed rations and plenty of straw left for them. I think that's because I just just turned it on and I'm running real time, so... Yeah, the sheep are showing the same thing. Zero productivity. So I think that will update once... once a little bit of time passes. The... No fields are ready, the grass, and both of our canola, none of that's ready. We're still working on planting. So we can't gather any more grass. Right now the silage is 14%. Once that all gets used up, then I'll definitely be, I'll need to put a lot more grass in here. This is the last little bit we've got to sow. And it looks like we're starting to get some of the crops to spring up just a little. The... Get a little green. We could... We could save just a little bit of money since we don't have anything better to do and do this ourselves, but it's just not worth it. I, I don't see the point. The next thing I need to look at is the... Okay, let's take a look at the sheep. Not making a lot for us, but making more than we're spending on them, so that's, that's good. Um, next thing I need to do is get some more grass for them. We have none in our mower. So we'll take a lap around here and pick up some grass so that when they do run low, we've got plenty. Let's make sure we've got plenty of grass ready for them. 
not a lot else to do. It looks like we're kind of in a in a little bit of a downtime until our next harvest starts. We're going to be in a lot better shape for the next harvest, though. It's uh, I'm a little excited about the next harvest with the new tipper and the new IH harvester that we've had for just a little bit. That was our first big upgrade. Um, now that we've got both of those together, I'm starting to think that could be a great combination. Should help us just rip right through the fields. Make harvesting a lot easier. Let's see. And it doesn't take very long to fill this guy up. see how much we can feed the sheep. I don't think it'll be very much. I'm going to turn the mower off. Go over here. Oh my goodness, I forgot safety. Safety first! Okay. Well, let's go ahead and dump what we can. I love the... <laughs> I love the Prophet Hopper. I love this <laughs> hydraulic dumping. That's great. I would love one of these. I need one of these to mow my grass. It'd be amazing. Yeah, and even the hydraulic thing. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Oh my goodness, they just took all of that. Okay. That's fine. We can get more. There's plenty more where that came from. I usually like to... This is feeding the sheep and mixing the mixing the rations for the cows. Those are things that are really good for your downtime when you don't have an active harvest going on and you're not running around chasing after running around with the tipper emptying out harvesters is a great time to take care of all the animals. Um, if you're if you're got a bunch of chickens, if you've got cows, if you've got sheep, this is the time to take care of these. And what I think I want to do here today is I'm just going to keep giving them grass until they take all of it, until they're completely full for another, I think it holds six days worth of food for them. Fill it up until it won't take any more, and then make sure the profit hopper is again so we've got even even more ready to go just it'll be one less thing that we have to worry about later later when we're busy doing a harvest if we need to just dump this uh, grass in there it'll already be ready for us it won't be a big deal that's kind of my plan here um, I usually like to handle the sheep that way there's, there's always going to be a little bit of downtime here and there, and so I try to take care of these little tasks. When we have the time. Until we hit something. Dump it out. Four-wheel drive. Next load coming in, sheep. Hope you're hungry. It already looks full, but where's the? Uh, let's go back to look at the sheep. Feeding trough, almost eight thousand. Ah, it's I. I'll be honest, I took two weeks off this game. I don't even remember how much it can hold, so... I'm I'm of no use here. I, that number means nothing to me. I don't know how much I'm supposed to fill it up to. So maybe... Uh, what I want to check the next time is to make sure that it's actually going in there. That it's actually counting towards the total. Um, we'll have to... Take a look at that. I'm, 
I'm a little worried, but it might just be that it was just so empty. I don't know. It didn't look empty. I hope it's not giving me giving me problems. We'll know here in a minute because this time I'm going to watch the. I'm actually going to watch the number as we dump it in. And usually once, um, I've never really had any problems just mowing this little strip of grass in between the sheep and this next field over. It's more than enough grass to keep the sheep fed, it seems like. By the time I need this grass again, it'll be regrown and it's never been a problem for me. I think this is a good system. Um, I don't know how realistic that is, though. This little strip of grass feeds a hundred sheep. It seems... I don't know, it seems low. But then again, the sheep have their little grass from actually inside there, so maybe... I don't know, maybe between the two they have enough grass. Oh, it's been full for... I wonder how long that was full. And I just kept driving and wasn't even paying attention. I was taking a look at all the sheep over there. Okay, let's try again. And this time I'm going to watch... I'm going to watch the number and see... If it's actually... Going up. Back it up in here. Let's take a look. Hopefully that feeding trough number of liters in the feeding trough starts to go up about now. And yeah, it did. It did. Okay, so everything's fine. They're just... Need plenty. That's okay. I, I know it won't fill up until we have enough food to feed all 100 sheep for six days, so... I'm okay to keep doing this for a little while. Oh, well, we're driving in a straight line. Let's check to see our progress here. Okay, only a little, little strip left for the cedar. And then it will be... We have to do a little... Adjustment because that um, that field we're currently seeding has this little box shape that sticks out of it from field 10. All of this will all be handled automatically if you just hire a worker and have them do it. But there's that little extra piece. Once they finish the main area, we'll have to move the cedar over there to do that last little bit. It's not a huge deal, but. I don't know. I prefer the perfectly rectangular fields by far, definitely. If you can. Always opt for that one. Not the fields with the weird little outcroppings, the weird little shapes. That's no good. Oh, I'm exaggerating. It's not all. It's no, I shouldn't say it's no good field works fine. It makes us plenty of revenue. Just, there's that little extra step when you're harvesting, when you're seeding. The hired worker can't see that little extra box sticking out of the side. Okay, hopefully we can fill this up. We'll be done with sheep for a few days. Because, I'll be honest, I'm starting to get bored of mowing with my profit hopper. There we go, that's full. Okay. 10,000 liters of grass. And now I'm thinking, is that realistic? To fit 10,000 liters in that trough right there. Would that even hold 10,000 liters? Hmm. Looks 
like it's only like 30 feet across. There we go. Okay, we hit it. Okay, here's what I was describing earlier. So now we've got full trough, 12,100. What I like to do, just to be a little OCD about everything, is I like to go and completely top off the profit hopper here so that we've got another 2,500 grass in reserve. So basically, my what I'm saying is that the the sheep have to eat through 12,000 liters of grass and this 2,500 liters inside of the mower before we have to actually go mowing again. Which is, if you remember the part about how the, this grass here will regrow by the time we need it, that's why that happens, is because we have 12,000 plus a small buffer takes them, and it takes them six days to eat through just the 12,000, and we've got a little extra, so, you know, we've got a little over six days. Not a problem. Shoot, right now we're running in real time. That would take, take a long time before we'd have to mow again. And just topping this off. Good. I'll just take him back over here, park him, and we're done with the sheep. Hopefully by now, well, it doesn't show that it's done, but we're going to go check on our cedar. Go see if it needs moved over to the little box. That's close enough. Uh, silage, we have extra of that. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is good timing. We are doing the last row here. No reason to have that fertilizer on. So I'm going to save us a few dollars by shutting that off for the rest of this row. Get this row complete, and then we'll have to move it over here to do this last little bit. Not a big deal, but I want to go ahead and take care of that today. Um, and that should just about wrap up the episode once we've got this going again. Because that's really all I have to do right now in this game. Um, the next step is just to forward time along until the harvest is ready. So we'll forward, forward time about 24 hours, wait till all of this is ready. What is it? I've forgotten. Canola? Yeah, canola. It seems odd that I'm growing canola. No, it's not. Because I need canola and wheat. We have no storage of either of those. So, okay, it makes sense. Alright. So canola does make sense here. And then barring any great demands, we'll grow wheat next. So what I like to do is I like to have a little bit of each grain type on hand. And the reason I do that is to maximize any any great demands that might come up. So I want to have, even if I could just have a little bit of all of wheat, barley, and canola, I would rather do that than have a whole bunch of barley and then try your luck at hitting a great demand with barley. It seems unlikely. Well, less likely. So if we kind of rotate through our crops as we need them, um, like I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to grow barley until there is one of two things happen. Either there is a great demand on barley and then we're back down to zero in our silos, or we have so much wheat and canola that actually barley has the least amount in our silos, in which case we may beef up our supplies that way. But I think we're pretty much done here. We've got the last bit of this seeding going to happen. Probably do that off camera and just finish up this last little bit. And we got our sheeps all 
sheep all taken care of. Got them fed. They're set for another week. So that's great. Next step is I'm going to go ahead and forward, finish this up, and then forward time along until we're ready for our next harvest. When you see me again, we're going to be harvesting canola. So that's going to be exciting. Harvest time is always the most interesting. Um, when we take a look at the weather, it doesn't seem like a problem at all to harvest tomorrow, so it should be great. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. My name's Overquake. I really appreciate that you took the time to watch. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much.